Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment alive down below. That's gonna do two things for y'all. Number one, at the end of the month, if you if we can continue to average the views that we're averaging about ten thousand or so, we're gonna be giving away a next gen console, whether it be PlayStation or Xbox. Number two, and this is the more important one because this goes down tonight or tomorrow, depending on whenever I stream. But anyway, every single Friday, we give away a copy of 2K or $50 in VC or $50 in cash out, whichever one you want to have. But today is a special day because we got Call of Duty coming out, and I know a lot of people weren't able to get it or whatever. So if you win today, you're gonna be, we're gonna give away a copy of Call of Duty to to somebody, whatever console they own. All you gotta do is like the video and comment alive down below. If we can get a thousand likes on the video, we're gonna double that thing up, man. So make sure y'all busy yourself, play up, busy yourself. Thirdly, the bots are back in town. Make sure y'all protect yourself. I don't have Telegram. All I got is Black Planet, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't believe the hype. You ain't want an iPad and and an iPhone and uh, a PlayStation and an Xbox and a, uh, and an uh, iBook or something like that. And I'm gonna send it to you. All you gotta do is pay the shipping. I would never do that. I would order it to your local Target and just do it for pickup. And now that we got all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check it out, boy. The boy Swante. Hey, man. The boy Swante says, listen here, man. 2K has reverted the adrenaline. Let's go, W. Close mouth. Don't get fed. Hey, I'm inclined to agree with it, man. He said he's out there, he's hooping. You see, he's doing his thing. He's able to do the momentum and all of that. Now, I've not been able to replicate this on Xbox to this point, but um, maybe it's an update or something that I got to close out and do all of that good stuff, man. But this is what we got right here. He's showing it. And then, you know, look, man, I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Y'all all all know, everybody out here know that my fellow, the OG Grandmaster Sensei, is a troll. And he normally trolls about everything. But I don't think he's going to troll about dribbling. So I doubled down on my sources this morning. And, uh, you know, speak shout out to Brute. He sent me sent me this one over here this morning. He said, to corroborate the story, we got the boy shift on I me. Mean, we got the boy Kai No Hoodie. He says, they heard us. R2 Momentum is back. Let's go. So, uh, so GG, you know, everybody, shout out to uh, G, uh, Hollywood, all them guys, all the, everybody that put some light on it last week. So, as far as we can tell, Momentum Dribbling is back. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I didn't see a big difference in people's movement with that, and, you know, with, with or without the adrenaline and all that. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like, if people want to dribble like that and it's not impacting the game in a negative way, I got no problem with it. Um, a lot of people were asking about the off-ball, how about off-ball and how about this and that. I don't know how I feel about the off-ball adrenaline because, like, if, if they're going to do adrenaline for off-ball, I feel like they should have to do it like this. They should, they, maybe they, and maybe they'll do this next year where you'll have stacked adrenaline or they're going to stack two bars down there and, like, you'll be able to have three for off ball and three for uh you know for on ball activities because i just don't i don't think that you should be able to have unlimited off ball either because bro dudes do y'all remember how dexon used to be i don't even think y'all know how bad dexon is in this game it is bad dexon fades all that stuff it's bad you can't it's really difficult to keep up with people off ball and if they had unlimited sprint off ball or if you didn't even use any adrenaline off ball i think it would be crazy because not only with the decks and stuff, but when they reposition themselves or they run out, run all the way down court, come back, get the ball, all this stuff. Like, I, I don't know. I think, it could, I think, like I said, this game is so finely, it's so finely tuned and so finely balanced. If they even move, remove one thing, then, you know, it's going to be tough. But I did, I, I, can't, I guess I got to put myself in that situation too, in the, in the whole thing too, because I advocated for bringing back the uh, adrenaline momentum adrenaline boost thingy last week you know last week i was like bro i don't see what this really solves i don't see what it really does and i think it's probably gonna hurt more than anything because shoot you know what i'm saying like everybody uses that that's gonna hurt everybody but we did adapt y'all see us out here in formula one we was hooping we was winning but at the same time i just felt like it was just one of those changes where it, it didn't need to be done and reversing because of community outrage it was cool now Conversely, we got the girl, female dribble guy, but she was out there challenging herself. She stepped up to the challenge. I got to commend her. She said, overheard people saying um, in the space, in the space chat last night. They had a space chat thing last night. I was not in there, but um, you know, cause I was asleep. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I needed a day off. That's why I didn't stream or do a second video. But she said, overheard people in the space chat, dribble, uh, dribble bad or lose bars. I haven't lost a bar until I speed boost. People just, People just be chatting and need to learn to be 
I mean, to stop being 2K22 made and get good. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all about that, man. Like, I mean, you look at the moves that she's doing right here. She's moving, she's uh, doing, and, and she's like, She's not gonna lose a bar until she's ready to lose one or until she commits. And that's what it's supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about, like I said, we talk so much about so many things in 2K. We talk so much about IQ and this and that. And people will say, you like, I don't know, we're gonna get into that later on, but I just think that we talk too much about IQ and, and having basketball acumen and, and knowing how to play basketball and that. And people really don't have any clue what they're talking about. Like you'll see somebody make a 6-1 with no interior defense, and then they'll sit there and be like, bro, you're not playing, this ain't real basketball, you just back cutting me all day when y'all got up. What? But then that same person to talk about playing with IQ, I guess IQ really only really only matters when you're the one that's doing it, but you're not playing with IQ either. You just sprinting left, sprint right, sprint left, sprint right, fade. But when somebody gets a couple stops on you and then they decide to exploit what your what your weakness is, because you're exploiting their weakness because they can't keep up with you, but when they decide to exploit your weakness because you, just like one of them you're exploiting the game because they just can't keep up with you. It ain't a bill that can keep up with you left, right, and right. But when they exploit your weakness that you chose because you made a 6-1 with no interior defense, then that's a low IQ play and that's, and that's bull Shit. But when you run back and forth and do something that don't even even resemble real basketball, that's that's IQ. But shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bro. Come on, man. Y'all boys really gotta get real with this, bro. So back cutting a six one point guard over and over. That's low IQ, and that's not realistic. But taking threes, quick dropping from the free throw line, sprinting back and forth, back and forth until you gain an advantage, fading every play, and, and all of that with a 5-1 or a 6-1, that's realistic. That's real basketball. Bro, Bro, y'all boys need to get real, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And that's, I think that's why the 2K community is in, a, is in some of the spots that it's in, because you got a lot of players that that's all they do, and they think that that's real basketball, and they think they know real ball, and they, they really don't. It's just that don't even resemble real basketball. That's why 2K did what they did. They slowed the game down because they wanted it to really resemble real basketball. And if that's, if that's you know, that braids more high IQ play, but you got a lot of low IQ players masquerading as high IQ players because they adapted. Don't mean that you're a high IQ player, it just mean that you adapted. But anyway, up next we got the boy, which brings us to where Quavo said, bro, 2K is dead AF. This joint just dropped. Nobody beyond this joint though. I don't know, I don't know Quay. Um, I think that I think that a lot of people are on it. Like we still, we don't have no trouble finding games. Um, we we don't have no trouble running. We don't have no trouble doing nothing. So I don't think that the game is dead. I just think that I, I don't know. I, I think that. Um, let me tell you what I think it is. I think that there's a division in everything because of what you have to do in order to get the legend. Because a lot of people just want to play part, but you got to go in there and you got like somebody that don't even like, like Quay, he don't, he don't really play wreck like that, right? But he, he his main thing is park. But when you go to the park, you got everybody in the wreck right now because they trying to get those wins. And so that's causing the division. So when you go out to the park, you're not gonna get back-to-back -back runs like you normally would unless you go to the stage. And I like I'm you know, I'm I'm with you on that. I'm not going to the stage. Everybody that made it, they ain't never went to no stage. Why we gotta go to the stage? I'm gonna sit here and play and play uh bum ass dudes all day and create my content and do I'm, I'm gonna do that. Not saying that that's what you do, but I, well, you, you understand what I'm saying. Like, it's just a division because you have to go to the wreck. And a lot of people have to go to the wreck. They don't even want to go to the wreck. So when we come out to the park and, and try to run, it ain't nobody out there. And I think that's making the game seem dead faster than what it is. But I don't think I don't think it's dead. I think it's just I think it's just that uh, 2K has put this thing out here and it kind of divided the community. And it's like, it's really hard to tell the difference. But like when you play events and stuff, you see it's not dead. Um, if you go to certain places, and if you go to the wreck, you certainly see it ain't dead. But it's just like, I guess for what we, if you are a full-time park player and you don't play twos, like if you play twos, I think I think people are, are, are always there. But if you're a full-time park player, you don't play twos, you play threes. I could definitely see that point of view because it's like, you you might it's, it's hard to get games out there. It was already hard to get games as it is, but now it's really hard to get games. So you know, I, I I'm, I'm feeling you all there, but I don't think it's quite there. Up next, we got the boy Swante saying that Boost and Gatorade don't work in current gen park. They said they say it only works in other modes. Somebody told me about that man the other day, and I didn't quite understand what he was saying. But I think that that's what he was saying. Like the Boost don't work. I'm gonna try to pass it on to the devs. I don't know if they know about it or anything like that. But uh, one dude says one dude down there he says that it only works in career games other guy says uh exactly i have double bars 
but I don't, but it don't pop up. And then you know the people talking about let's run and all that. So we gotta advocate for them guys on current gen, man. We gotta we gotta holler at them guys, man. See what we can do on that. Uh, we gonna we gotta let Mike and them guys know. We'll see what's up with that, man. But hopefully, hopefully it's something that can be fixed and it can be resolved. But y'all let me know if y'all still having an issue if you're on current gen. Up next, boy, we got that boy Nate. Hey, the game ain't dead to him because he done broke in monitor. That boy out there, God damn, that boy say that's the name that we know and love, bro. It ain't never this serious. Now I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have broken a couple as a person that has broken a couple of monitors in his time uh yeah I, I feel it man it ain't never that serious but sometimes it feel like it that serious but i ain't gonna lie i broke my monitor on mistake man i broke my controller in half i got an erasure with randall's video and i threw it on my table and it bounced up and hit my monitor and broke it bro i ain't gonna lie it was bad but I got another one because I got a good wife and she told me you're not gonna she bought me she didn't just buy me one, she bought me two. She bought me a she bought me another monitor like that, the 27 inch, and then I got a 32 inch curve that she bought me. And uh so you know, she said, look, you break another one though, you uh you know, uh what she said, what she said, what the dude said, uh, um a crack a, a scratch on the a scratch on the monitor is a scratching ass or whatever. Whatever I forgot what moving that is. Y'all know what moving that is, comment it down in this section, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So she said, Yeah, we're not we're not doing that no more. Uh, I got a new desk and everything. She's like, nah, we're not doing none of that no more. Up next, bro, they said this is the worst bill ever. I don't think it's the worst bill ever because I seen worse. But, bro, where's your defense? See, this is the type of dude that'll build this guy. I don't know where nothing is, really. So he just went straight glass cannon with this joint, bro. Not even a lot of pass accuracy. Jesus Christ. That's like, what, 50 some pass accuracy, 60 some? But look, he's. this is the type of person that'll be like, they'll make this bill. Be able to score, 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 and won't be able to stop nothing, and then be like, why y'all keep back cutting me, you trash, for playing real music? How dare you use real basketball tactics in a video game? Shame on you. Shame on you. That's how they be acting, bro, but I don't get it, though. Like I said, that's the 2K community for you, man. Only they can have IQ. Only they can do stuff that, that actually makes sense and all of that good stuff. Speaking of which, taking off from the free throw line, that boy Downwork says, now that I'm using the pro stick to dunk, I can literally trigger limitless takeoff I'm near every time. It is crazy, and I don't even have it on Hall of Fame yet. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought everybody knew about that, my boy. Damn, you out there playing league guard, not using this thing. You, you, you Downwork. Downwork. Let me find out you've been out there playing lead guard X Duncan or, or Square Duncan. Come on, G! Come on, son. Come on, son. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. You ain't been X Duncan. You, 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 just, you just tripping. He capping. It ain't no way you've been playing lead guard all this time and you and you've been X Duncan and Square Duncan all this time. I refuse to believe that. I ain't believing that. Come on, son. Come on, man. I, it ain't no way you've been X Duncan all this time. But. Every day, like I said, this is why we put the information in a lot of videos because everybody's, every video is somebody's first video. So he might not have known that right there. But uh, if y'all didn't know, that that's that's what we telling y'all. You can you can pretty much limit this takeoff every time, even if you don't have it on that high of a uh, thing. You only need it on silver and you can take off from, from the free throw line. All you gotta do is push up on the dunk stick. I mean, on the right stick and uh, you're gonna do that, man. So like I said, I thought it was common knowledge, but again, he is a dribbler. Oh, he does do a lot of dribbling and stuff. So he probably turned the dunk stick off. And a lot of people do that. And they ask Brute why he don't do it. And that's why Brute say, I, I never, I will never turn the dunk stick off. Um, Cause you can put it for dribble moves only. And, but he will never, he said he'll never do that. Because number one, when you do your hop step, if you do the hop step with the, with the dribble stick, then you can still dribble after it. And then number two, you can dunk with it. So um, a lot of people might not have known that. So we just making y'all aware. Last but not least, boy, look at that thing. Free this little guy. That boy, I'm out of there. Look at Alright, well, appreciate it. Leroy! Yeah, that boy up out of there, boy. Hey, anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is this a W that they that they fixed adrenaline and all that? How do y'all feel about it? Do y'all dunk with the dunk stick? Is limitless take off OP and all that good stuff, man. I think I think the game is in a good spot. I'm very glad that they reverted it back to what it was. I'm glad they listened on some stuff, but then decided to not really listen on some of the other stuff because of the steals and all that bro i am telling you with the fades the left right that exists limitless takeoff and all of that if they take the steals out and keep people from 
wanting to reach it, I mean, wanting to, to maintain that distance and they can dribble into you and make mistakes, it's gonna be crazy, man. So, you know, it is it is what it is. Anyway, like I said, man, we're giving a, we play a Call of Duty today. Make sure y'all tune in for that. Um, And we're gonna be giving away a copy of Call of Duty. With this video get a 1,000 likes, we're gonna give away uh either two $50 packs or we're gonna give away two copies of Call of Duty or any combination of what y'all want, man. Anyway, like the video, comment down below. Um. What we talk about alive because I think the game is alive and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. It's little niggas online keep taking stabs at us, but I'm too stingy to even give half a fuck. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.